Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here with Dental Tutoring. So I had another question from a YouTube watcher, which is awesome. I love those. Asking how to really, um, what's the words I'm looking for? How to schedule appointments for a new patient, depending on how much plaque they have, how much tartar. Do you do all of the quads in one appointment? Do you do half the mouth? Do you do a little bit, you know, everywhere and then have them back the next time? So this can be, I think, the trickiest thing for a new hygienist, especially. I know for me, it took me a good couple months to feel comfortable with knowing when to book the patient back. So I was always a little bit worried to have a new patient in my chair because then it's it's my responsibility to tell the patient and to decide how often they should be coming in for a cleaning, right? And as a new hygienist, you're you're also probably thinking, well, if I can't you know, clean the entire mouth. Is that a bad thing? Are people looking at me wondering why I couldn't clean um, the person's mouth? You know, like, why couldn't I do all of it where she might have been able to or whatever, right? But try not to think like that. But a good rule of thumb to kind of give you guys a good starting off point is, and this is what I use. And sometimes there are exceptions, but this is a good rule of thumb. So what I use and what I even tell patients is that if it's been over, if it's been two years or more um, that you've had your teeth cleaned, I might not be able to finish your entire cleaning. Two years, I can probably do half the mouth today, half the mouth next time. So what I would do is I, I would pick quads one and four, so the right-hand side. So depending on where um, you live, depending on where you're watching this, your tooth numbers are different. But So I, I would do the right-hand side first, and then the next time I would do the left-hand side. And then after that, so it takes three appointments. Um, and then after that, we like to call it the re-eval appointment, where we look, we you know check all of the teeth to see if we had left any any um, tartar behind, which happens. Um, and there's always always plaque at that point too, right? So you're pretty much doing a cleaning again, but obviously not that intense because a re-eval is usually done four to six weeks after their last appointment. Sorry guys, I just heard my dogs barking. Let me just check why. Um, Tom isn't home, so I'm expecting a lot of packages, so I just wanted to make sure. Sorry. Um, but there's nobody here, so never mind. Um, so the re-eval appointment is typically done four to six weeks afterwards because you want to give the gums a chance to really, you know, um, um, heal up as much as possible, right? Um, so that's why we do it that way. And and at the re-eval, why are they barking? Oh, I do have packages. Shoot, you guys. Hold on. I'm just going to pause this one moment. There, everybody. Sorry about that. So Tom is at home, and I had to answer the door because my packages came in with all of my supplies. So I had to order like masks, um, bibs, toothbrushes, all of that, because um, I am starting my own mobile hygiene business. If you didn't know, and I got most of my stuff in, but I was just waiting for that. So that's really exciting. So sorry, guys. Okay, so I had to pause it again because I had another package, but I think we're good now. Um, because the exciting thing is, is now I have everything that I need. Um, yeah, it took time because I had to get in my sterilizer and that took time. And then I had to get in my dental chair, my equipment, my supplies, and my instruments took the longest. And I kind of need that before I see patients. I have my first official non you know, friend, family member, patient on Monday. I'm very excited. Anyway, sorry. You guys probably don't want to hear about that. You want to hear about how to book appointments, right? Okay, sorry. So where do we leave off? So I left off at the re-eval appointment, right? So at the re-eval appointment, what I like to do, and again, it could be different depending on the office. You, you might have a different, um, it's called a soft tissue management program in place. Every office is a little bit different, but that's kind of how we do it. Now, sometimes, so let's say the patient hadn't been in for two years. Um, sometimes I can do half the mouth in the first appointment, the second half of the mouth, uh, or sorry, the other half of the mouth, the second um, appointment, and I might be able to get 
the polish, um, the fluoride, and I guess that's it, um, done in the second appointment too. But if I can't, because there might have just been a lot there, then what I do is I do the first half of the mouth in the first appointment, the second half, the second appointment, and then the third appointment, we kind of group it all together as the re-eval appointment and the polish and the fluoride at that time. So I do not polish after every appointment if it's been a while since they had their teeth cleaned. I can, but as we've all learned, if the gums are inflamed, we shouldn't. We all do it, but you know, I think that that's just why we don't we, we, we don't do it at every appointment if they're coming back anyway to finish up with the cleaning. And another um, reason for that is because we want them to come back to finish the cleaning. If we do a really, really good job the first time, I hate to say it, but they might not come back the next time, right? So that's typically how I book um, those types of um, appointments. If it's been two years, or sorry, yes, two years or more. Um, and we also um, irrigate at those appointments too, which I forgot to mention, so I apologize. So we irrigate um, the first appointment, so the half of the mouth, and then we irrigate the second appointment for the other half. Um, sometimes we give local, anest um, local anesthetic too. That depends on the patient. Now the office where I'm in now, she likes to give local anesthetic on everybody if it's been two years or, or more because she says that she wants the patients to understand that, okay, there, there, there must be a lot there. Too much plaque, too much um, tartar if my dentist is telling me that I need local anesthetic to have my teeth clean, you know, because that's not typical. So she wants them to think, okay, let's not wait two years next time, right? But I, my thinking's a little bit different. I don't like to just give local anesthetic to anybody because I mean, I'm the type where I don't like having local anesthetic. <laughs> I don't like having the, the needle. So if a dentist told me that I needed one, I would probably go somewhere else, but that's just me. So everybody kind of does their own thing. So depending on the office where you are in, they might have local anesthetic as part of the treatment. So just keep that in mind too. Now, if the patient hasn't been in for let's say five years, you might only be able to do one quad per appointment. You know, that can happen too. So that can be kind of hard to really determine. So at the new patient exam, you would be checking around anyway to see how much tartar they have. If you can tell they have heavy tartar in every single quadrant, then you will probably do one quadrant per appointment of about 45 minutes to an hour per appointment. That's possible too. So then if you, if you think about it, you know, one, two, three, four, that's four um, appointments. And then even five appointments to do the re-eval at the end with the polish and the fluoride. So think about that too. But as I'm saying this, you, you might be surprised where a patient might tell you that they had their teeth cleaned five years ago, yet you're checking and you're like, wow, the teeth look pretty good. You don't wanna tell them that because they're just lucky, but you, you might be thinking, okay, five years, I'll probably have to do a quadrant per appointment, but then, you're, you know, you're in there thinking, okay, things actually look pretty good. I can do it all in one appointment. That's possible. So you see how there's always exceptions. Or I've had patients come in where they insist that they had their teeth cleaned a year ago, yet there's so much there where I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have to do a quadrant per appointment. Um, if the gums are just so you know, in bad shape, if you're doing the probing and there's deep pockets, even if it's only been a year, so they say, you might have to do a quadrant per appointment. So does that make sense? Um, I hope I explained everything. So soft tissue management. Some offices have it and some offices just just, you know, ask you to do as much as you can in one appointment, but hopefully not, because sometimes you just simply can't. And how I see it is, if a patient hasn't had their teeth cleaned in five years, 
you don't even want to do it all in one appointment because you kind of want to teach them, okay, we can't wait five years. There's a lot here and that's not healthy. So I want them to know, okay, I have 14 years experience, but even I can't do it all in one appointment. So let's do two appointments or three appointments, you know, let them know that, okay, it takes longer. It, it costs more money the longer you wait to get your teeth cleaned. But then also always let them know um, too. Say, after we're all done, it will be easy. Come in every three months, every four months, and then we can do everything in one appointment. Imagine, right? And they go, oh, well, yeah, really? Like that's possible? Yes, it is, but you have to come in more often. So I hope that helped. Um, it took me a little while to do this video. I apologize. I think um, somebody had asked the question on soft tissue management a couple weeks ago. So sorry, it took me a little while, but I will post this now right away. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching.